Basically, what I'm talking about, what I'm interested in, is the role of electronic technologies in facilitating the agri-industry food business. Now, that means that we're looking at how electronic technologies can help the producer mm -hmm. all the way through the food chain to the retailer. So we're actually talking about the agri-food industry as a chain of companies and how electronic technologies as a business enabler can help all of those companies in that chain. Because it helps precision? Or? Well, at the producer end, you can look at precision agricultural techniques that will f um, help you get around the, the issue of variability. Variability are caused by soil problems, variability caused by geographic problems. Um, helps you manage that variability. But then you're also talking about improving efficiencies, imp most importantly improving information flow, so that, for example, what, we, what electronic technologies allows is that people get information about what the consumer wants, rather than producing a product and then hoping the consumer will want it. So with electronic technologies and the internet and better information flows, the consumer can actually, consumer demand is better known. And so, therefore, people can tailor what they grow better to the consumer demand. And are we talking about very difficult to manage technology or no. internet? We're talking about technology that is now available to everyone, is used by everyone. We're talking about, obviously, computers, the internet. We're talking about Twitter. We're talking about Facebook. All these social networking sites have been of value in one way or another to the agri-food industry. I could you know, give you examples all over the place, but one particularly good one is the use of Facebook, or oh, YouTube rather, to create viral videos to encourage kids to eat carrots in the States. The States have been doing this, in, in, it was shown last year in, in, in October, November, uh, a small group of farmers had got together, carrot farmers had got together, And they, were going, they decided that they were going to sell baby carrots. And these baby carrots, they put into the plastic bags that get sold in the vending machines. You know the, 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 the bottle vending machines, the drink vending machines that are refrigerated? And they started selling little bags of baby carrots in those vending machines in the schools. And those were the, the actual farmers? They were the actual farmers that got together in, in, in a sort of marketing alliance. Getting directly to the consumer. Directly to the consumer, but using the technologies like the internet and creating small animated videos using software, simple software programs to sell their product. They decided that they'd, they'd launch it at Halloween and the kids just, you know, they loved it. <laughs> so in fact what you were doing, what they were doing is they were selling their product, they were doing it innovatively using technology and they were actually doing something for the kids in terms of the kids' health. Were were those uh, elaborated? The complex farmers? They were they were they went to college or something? Or uh, those farmers probably would have been um, sophisticated. I mean, relatively sophisticated farmers. Yes, mm -hmm. but that doesn't stop non-sophisticated uh, farmers, if you like, getting together in a group and using the power of the group to actually address some of these issues that they. We. I was only talking about this with my students this morning because I have students here in Peru who, who are working with these small farmers and they want to know how you can use these technologies t to help the farmers. What other example can you quote? Well, for example, the mobile phone has been one of the... there's been the most rapid uptake of technology ever has been the mobile phone. Well, and that has taken place primarily in the... Ag well, a, a very big uptake has happened in the agricultural sector. In Peru, everybody has a phone. Everybody has a phone. Yeah. So you can start using that with all the apps that you can download. Mm -hmm. You can download things that will help you with getting market prices, download j just general communication if you've got a buyer. Um, you know, e even the simple markets that a lot of these peasant farmers or small farmers will go to, um, you may need to communicate with the person who runs the market so that you get a, a place in the market. Because that's a big problem here in Peru, the, the guy in the middle, mm. that guy doing the trading you know, of, the, of that mm. line that you're quoting, mm. Mm. Uh, that's the guy making the, the real money. The mm. farmer doesn't see much of these revenue. It's, it's difficult to get rid of the middle man. Um, and in fact, in some certain circumstances, you're not going to want to get rid of the middle man. 
but certainly as lo- if you if the concept of getting together collaboration mm-hmm. and you can use electronic technologies mobile phones fax machines internet to facilitate collaboration then you have a bit the, the, the people who have got together in a group have power and can and can negotiate with the middleman there are some experiences of of a uh, organizations ngos trying to yeah to bring cell phones or smartphones yes. to, to groups of farmers. Yeah. But here in Peru it's very well known that uh, as the most poor sector of the farming uh, population, yeah. it's very averse to technology. They don't, they don't like anything to do. And they want to do the same thing they have been uh, doing, doing for generations. Yes. The same product, the same yeah. way of irrigation. Not yeah. even new kinds of, yeah. of seeds, for example. No? One of the things I've been talking about to the students this week at ESAN is that really what you what you need to understand or what what is needed to be understood is that some sort of change management needs to take place in, in to, to, to get that change of culture happening you need you need to it, it, it you have the electronic technologies which are about technology which yeah? is not very expensive which is not very expensive and things like the internet and wireless are everywhere now yeah, and, smartphones. and it's and so this is infrastructure an enabling tool. But on top of that, you need some of the soft management things that go with communication, learning to communicate, learning to collaborate. Like education. You like mean. education and change management. And change management is about getting people to understand that the way they used to do things is perhaps not quite the way that needs to be, that things need to be done in the future.